friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Maddie and this is going to be another hopefully weekly vlog. I started a new job at the very beginning of this year and it's taken me a couple weeks to adjust to the schedule. I'm working 6.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. along with going to the gym before work and so my life is kind of chaotic right now but I think I've kind of got it down so we're good. But I wanted to go ahead and start another weekly vlog here. I have found myself crocheting again after about a month and a half of not crocheting. So I figured what a better time. Um, a lot has happened. I mean, I say that. It's really not that much. Uh, I got blood work done. And I apparently have a gluten allergy. So I've kind of been adjusting to the gluten-free life. I'm not celiac. So, um... I haven't really eliminated like seasonings and sauces and things that have gluten in them, but I haven't been eating bread or pasta, anything like that. I've cut out like the main big sources of gluten and I've noticed pretty much that I haven't had any stomach problems, but I don't really think it's been long enough quite yet to tell a big difference. Also my blood work showed that my estrogen levels were non, what's the word, undetectable. So I have to go get those redone because it doesn't make any sense for just my estrogen levels to be that low and nothing else to be off. So I'm going to go get that done probably this week and hopefully it goes well. Um, and it turns out that's just a fluke that would make things so much easier. But it would also give us an explanation as to why we haven't gotten pregnant yet. So who knows. So my first market that I signed up for this year is going to be on March 2nd, which is in about three weeks. It is an Easter themed market, so I've kind of spent the day making a list of things that I may want to make for the market and kind of testing out the patterns to see how long they take, how much I could charge for each of them. So the first thing I made was a carrot, and all I have on it right now are eyes. I may put a mouth on it, but I don't know. I think it's just cute like this. And this one took me about 30 minutes, and let's see. And I'm going to charge $12 for these. Next up, I'm very excited about, I've been wanting to make bees, but I hate how long they take sometimes. Um, granted, I've only ever made them with either the chunky yarn, and they're really big, or the acrylic yarn, and they're really small, and they take forever. Um, but I hate sewing the wings on, I really do. So I found a no-sew bee pattern that worked out perfectly. It's like the perfect little size. The wings um, aren't sewn on. They're kind of like you go in after you finish it and add it on, but you don't have to sew them. And this only took me about 10 minutes, so I'm going to charge about $8 for these. They're really small, um, but they're cute, and I love them. And this is going to probably be a, an all-the-time item, not just uh, like spring and Easter time, but yeah. And then I made this bunny. Um, I don't have any or I don't have enough white yarn right now of the Bernat blanket to make a white one so I started with a gray one and I think it's super cute and the other stuff that I have on my list to try out are these little like flower girls I'll post a picture or if not they'll probably be later in this video some little Easter spring themed like claw machine toys because I did get a claw machine for my markets for Christmas and then I'm gonna try to do one of the make your own bouquet things where I have um, a couple different types of flowers and you can make a bouquet. I'm going to cap off the amount of flowers per bouquet at like five or six just because I don't want someone coming in. I mean if they come in and buy them all out that's one thing but like I just want to be able to have enough for like maybe five bouquets. Uh, so we'll just have to see about that. I tried to make a flower the other night and it really did not turn out like the picture. So I got a new bundle with 12 different flowers in it to try out. But that is all that I have done so far for the spring market. I got, actually got an Etsy order a couple weeks ago. Um, I decided to kind of start going through and adding more stuff in that I've taken pictures of and not put on my Etsy. And it gave me an order. So it was a little pig. And I posted a TikTok about creating and packaging that order today. I sent it out. By that I mean I dro dropped it in the mailbox. Um, so hopefully that person is satisfied. But otherwise I'm waiting for the oven to heat up because I'm about to try a cauliflower crust gluten-free pizza. I have been hit or miss with gluten-free things so far. So I will let you know how that is. My camera is about to die already so I'm going to charge it and then I'll get back with you all in a little bit. So this is the pizza I got. Just pepperoni, mushroom, and sausage. I'm not... Mushrooms are not my favorite, but these didn't look like too bad. But 
there's a honker in the middle of my pizza, so that is going to be a no. But, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good, crispy. So, let's try it. I just continue to look worse, whatever. So, I got me a little quarter here, and I'm not, uh, I'm not usually a ranch and pizza person. I don't feel like I need the ranch, but I got some just in case. I don't know. I have been craving ranch lately. I feel like I could drink it. So I'm going to try it first without the ranch and see what I think. It doesn't taste bad to me. It tastes like a pizza. In literally a minute shy of an hour, I have finished my little, I think I'm going to call her a little garden fairy. She's a little flower on her head and some more petals, leaves, whatever you want to call them. Not super liking the arms like this, but it is what it is. Uh, and I don't really like this green, but the only other green that I do have, I don't like to work with because it's super thick and not soft at all. So it has like no give to it and I just do not like working with it. So I think next one I'm going to make, I'm going to use my green sparkle, um, Bernat baby and then like a pink for the flower, but I think they're cute. All right. So now I'm going to do the math and see how much I'm going to charge for those. So after doing the math in my little spreadsheet, it says I should charge about $16.30, but I think I'm going to go ahead and charge $20 because I know people will probably pay for that. I don't know. But also, I feel like these are very specific, so it just depends on the person as well. But yeah, so $20 for a little garden fairy. So this is the little uh, claw machine I got for Christmas, and I haven't been able to test it out with any of my crocheted items yet, so I just threw the bee in there to kind of see how strong this thing is, because I don't know how well it will work if the stuff I put in there is too heavy, you know? So I'm going to mess around with it, see if I can get the bee. Okay, yeah, we're not... No. There we go. No music. God, it almost scooped it back out. It worked! First try. Yeah. I rescued him. That makes me excited, at least. I was a little worried when I first got it. Even though I've seen people use it before, I just cannot, for whatever reason, control how big I make stuff, especially with the blanket yarn. So I was just concerned it wasn't going to be strong enough but we're good we did it so perfect all right I just got out of the shower because I was looking rough my battery is on one bar but I wanted to kind of talk to y'all about what's been going on since I have been gone I guess technically I'm going to be working on some or a one of my little vending machine prizes to just try it out um I recently just got into Star Wars and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I have a probably unhealthy obsession with Anakin Skywalker. 
I will take no further questions. Um, I am on six right now. We watched them in chronological order just to make it a little easier on me. Oh shoot, I need to measure everything. Um, because my husband tried to show me in release order before and it was just, I couldn't like get hooked, you know? So my friend started me in chronological order and so we've been making good progress. Yeah, I've ordered a shirt. I have started crocheting an Anakin Skywalker. No regrets. I do not care. I am upset about everything. There's literally nights where I just can't fall asleep because I'm so mad about what happened. But I just wanted to tell you about my new obsession with Star Wars. Oh, and this year one of my goals for my business is to like... I originally wanted to make nerdy stuff. So I want to make sure that I am interspersing like nerdy stuff like Pokemon or Star Wars, things like that or just like themed around that because to me like that is what I based my company off of. Like it's Druid creations like Dungeons and Dragons and things like that. So I just want to make sure I'm incorporating like things that I think show what my company is. You know, not that I don't like any of the things I'm making now. I wouldn't be making them if I didn't, but I just want to try to do what I originally intended on doing. So I also started sewing. I made a book sleeve. I don't know where it is right now, but it came out pretty good. It fits iron flame in it. So there's that. But yeah, so I'm going to make this little carrot and then I will probably update y'all tomorrow evening or something. I might have to make an appointment to get my lashes done because this is going to bother me.
back you guys it has been probably about a week since I've actually talked to y'all last uh I just had stuff to do almost every night last weekend or last week then this weekend they were fixing our roof so all to be heard was banging which I'm pretty sure I've put in some clips of other things before this that included that um but I wanted to kind of let y'all know what was going on so I don't remember what I've said previously in this vlog, so I'm just going to go ahead and start from the top. I'm doing a market on March 2nd. Today is February 19th. I started market prep last week at some point, so I've been working on that. Uh, I think that I've showed y'all the Easter items that I made, so now I'm going to kind of give you a day-by-day -day breakdown of what I've made over the last few days. This may not be correct, but y'all... How do you know? So, here's what we got. Also, I made this for all the things that I need to make with the variations, like if there's any color changes or anything. Um, so, let's see. All right, so the first night that I started my market prep, I did a green sparkly Octo, a green sparkly Leggy Froggy, the uh, claw machine little bunny, and I made two bees. The second night I made a pig and then I made uh, land turtle parts. So I think that night I had made three heads, two bodies, and then the next day I finished them all. So I have this one, which I call like my squirtle turtle because the colors, a uh, regular green and tan one, and then a pink and purple with my hair all over it. Don't mind that. All right, and then the third day I finished the turtles. Um, I made, so I have like my standard cow pattern, but I kind of wanted a different one because um, I know that people like the kind of like standing ones. So I made this one, which is super cute, but it took me so much longer than the other, well, maybe not too much longer, but you were supposed to sew on the ears, the arms, and the snout, and I figured out how to crochet them each in and only had to sew on the horns. Um, so that made it so much easier because I hate sewing stuff. Um, the ears are a little questionable, that one specifically, but I think it's super cute. I made a chicken, another leggy froggy, and then that night I made a little shrimp. And then the day after, which I think was yesterday, I made the second carrot that I showed you. I made this little banana um, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and show you like other stuff I've made that I didn't keep track of I made a chick um, the other Easter item that I made was this little um, garden fairy is what I'm calling it oh, I thought she was missing an eye little garden fairy that mini octo I showed y'all. I made a purple octo, which this I somehow messed up. I don't know how I did it, but it's significantly smaller than normal ones. I don't know. Um, I already had this octo made. I already had this octo made. I think this, I was trying to do this, and it did not work. Um, and then I have another B. So, uh, the banana and the shrimp. We're not originally on my to-do list, but um, I've kind of been in like a mood, I'm a mood crocheter right now. If I don't wanna do something for market prep and I wanna do something else, then I'm gonna crochet it because I really don't wanna wear myself out. So I got my two carrots. Are these the same size? One's a little bigger. Oh, well pink leggy froggy last night. Okay, so on my list of things to do, um, my plan for my market, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you everything my plan I've planned and then like what I've done. So I have three chickens planned. I've done one, two pigs, I've done one, two cows, I've done one, two possums. I might take those off. I know they're kind of a fan favorite, but we'll just have to see. Three land turtles, which I've finished. Three sea turtles, haven't started those. Two chicks, I've done one. Two bunnies, I've done one. Actually, this isn't even it. This is just what I needed to do. Oh well. Uh, two carrots, I've done them both. Uh, I planned for three of the garden fairies, so I can do different skin tones, but we'll just have to see. Um, two sheep, I haven't started those. I don't know if I'm going to do them yet. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bees. I've done three. Uh, three pocket frogs. I haven't done any. Many octos. I've done one out of three. My claw machine items. I plan six. I've done two. My octos. I plan on doing the rainbow again. So red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and then I'm gonna do a pink one. The same with my leggy froggies. My octos. I've had. I've done orange, green, and purple. Leggy froggies. I've done green, purple, and pink. And then three fidget pops. I haven't done any of those. Um, some of these things I'm like thinking about taking off so I can make other things, but I don't really know. But my plan with the bees is in my claw machine, I'm going to have my themed claw machine items, my Easter stuff. I'm going to have the three pocket frogs, three bees, I believe, and then, um, is that it? My mini octos, three mini octos. Um, I'm very excited for that. You saw a video earlier in this where... I was testing it out and it worked. So that's the plan. I'm gonna probably stick with my main items. I don't know if I'm gonna make another cow like that. I feel like I should, but I might wait till next week to do it. We'll just have to see. Um, I might cut down on the chickens. I don't know. I don't really know what I'm doing right now. So I just wanted to give you all an update. I think I also took a video of my new kind of setup. I got a stand for my monitor so that way I can slide my keyboard under and actually use the workspace on the desk in front of me. I also have a new cabinet so I've taken this blue dresser out and then I had a little dresser behind the camera um, that I took out and replaced with the black cabinet. So. I was able to kind of condense my stuff. Hello friends, buddies, pals, amigos. It's been a while. The sliding was garbage wrapped. Still not great, we'll figure it out. Anywho, it's been like a week or more since I've updated y'all. So this video has turned from just a market prep vlog to now market prep and market vlog because the market's tomorrow. And surprise, surprise, I'm not prepared. I'm almost prepared, but then I keep wanting to add more things. We'll see how much I can get done. It's 7.06 p.m. on Friday, March 1st. I'm thinking about cracking a Red Bull later, maybe, if I'm feeling frisky, but we'll have to see. Um, this will be a uh, kind of a different market because my mom is coming with me to sell some of her cups. So these two four-foot desks that have all of my stuff on them get to come with us. I have a little haul um, of stuff that I needed for market or for the market and or for my business. So I'm gonna do that real quick. I have a package on the porch. Hold on. Okay, we'll open the package first um, together. So I ordered some shelves for my table because. Uh, I have been running out of space the last few markets anyways, and my father-in-law is going to help me build some for, like, outside of my tables, but, um, we didn't have time, so I also asked super late, and then he went out of town, so that didn't help. So I bought some. I also got printer ink, because I've been out. All right, I wonder... Oh, watch out, Frey. How much construction goes into these? Because, um, my car is a Ford Fusion, and I only have so much space to fit an 8-foot table, two 4-foot tables, lawn chairs, all my crochet stuff, including my yarn. Um, because tomorrow is a, a 6-hour market, so it's a lot longer than my 4-hour ones I've been doing. I mean, it's only two hours longer, but, you know. Anyways, I always bring all my crochet stuff with me. Okay, these do require some assembly, so that's fun. Um, anywho. Wait, how much assembly? This is what the inside looks like. Oh, this requires a screwdriver. Mm. I feel like we could set these up tomorrow. 
it'd probably be a much better idea to do that. So we're gonna do that tomorrow and I'll show you them when they're together. Then I ordered some stuff from Walmart and Office Depot. So I remade my signs today. Oh, okay, I gotta go back out to my car to get my signs to show y'all. But um, I also made some stickers uh, with my logo and then one with a QR code on them that I'm gonna put on my bags. So there's that. My boots because uh, I went to the nail salon after I got off work and got my toes done and they were like begging me to stay there while they dried and I was like no I live right around the corner I went to Kane's first but I was very careful and I they, they're fine so I had to carry my boots out all right this is a bottle of hand sanding for my table not that people are gonna fucking use it but whatever um, these two self-sealing laminating pouches there's 10 total um, because I made some price signs for my stuff. There are going to be some things at the table that aren't labeled um, because I haven't made them before or whatever, but oh well. Oh, I should keep these bags. All right. Then I was going to order this stuff earlier this week and then I forgot. So the tablecloths that would fit these two foot or these two four foot tables weren't going to come in time. So I got these, two of these for my tables because I just don't want to leave like the black um, table out. It's not stained, but like there's scuffs and stuff on it and I just don't think it looks professional. Then we got bags and I ordered brown and of course my dumbass left substitutions on. So the white, fine, fantastic even. Carnival colors? We'll make it work. Last resort, though. I knew I should have gone to the craft store, but whatever. Caution. Oh, substitution. <laughs> um, I also ordered more Germex for my car. And instead of giving me a two-ounce bottle, they gave me two one ounce bottles. So we got some lavender with essential oils and mandarin with essential oils, which I'm going to put one on my desk at work because that, that's how much I just, it smells good. Anyways, uh, we only have porta potties and they do have like sinks to wash your hands, but the water has chlorine in it and it dries your hands out so bad. So I usually just double sanitize the girls. We have like our own um, porta potty that has a lock on it, so the boys can't go in there. It'd be nasty and disgusting. Um, we have our own EOS moisturizing stuff in there, sanitizer, and then I go back inside and use more. So that's that. Um. Oh, I also got this bin, so that I only have to have one thing with all my. Uh, inventory in it. So I'm hoping that's enough plus I can put in some more stuff because now I'll have my claw machine which won't fit in there. I have my cash box, shelves, but anywho I'm just gonna try to space save. So I'm gonna try to print these stickers out. I have never done this before. Um, so wish me luck. Nothing. Nothing. Anywho, um, I'm going to print out stickers. Then I'm going to do the self-laminating thing for my price signs that I have. Then I'm going to try to finish up my crochet things. So the, last night I started making a giant possum, but I have not made any little ones because I was kind of back and forth on whether I wanted to do it or not. But I made it. I put it on the sign because I usually make it, so I'm going to make two anyways. We know I was trying new things with my cow. I'm just gonna stick to Old Faithful and do two of those. Or maybe one, I don't know. Um, I also started a giant stingray last night, which I would love to finish tonight, but I think I'm gonna finish it tomorrow at the market. Um, I need to make one more of my little garden fairies and then make some more ocean animals because I love ocean animals and 
talking about rebranding and things like that, I do want to do nerdy stuff, but I also really like all my little sea animals. And I have all my turtles, I have all my octos, so why not throw some more in there? So, I found a pattern pack on um, Etsy of different sea creatures. There's like a starfish and a clam or a mussel um, and some fish. So, that's the plan. Um, I will update you when I get the stickers figured out. printing they turned out okay um I was kind of stupid at first I didn't quite understand but I figured it out so my logo ones are white and then my QR code ones do you mind my cat That can be comfortable, but whatever. Um, the QR code ones are beige. The logo ones are white. They're both supposed to be beige, but honestly, I'm glad that they're different colors because I feel weird like putting two things in the same color. Uh, anyways, so what are you doing? Um, these are my signs that I made. So how to pay. We got all my payment options here. We have this one. That is our uh, Linktree QR code. And then this one that's just talking about custom orders, and I realize that this isn't the same font. Yes, it is. It's just not in all capitals. But anywho, um, my custom order sign just about saying, like, if it's not on the table, you can order. If you have an idea, we have a pattern, and that they won't be completed that day, but that you can put it in order with me. So I'm going to put them in my stands. But this one, several markets ago, got coffee all over it. It has, like, tape nasty on it. Um, so does one of my other ones. So we're going to clean these up and get my signs put in there while the rest of my stickers print. Because I can only put one sheet in the printer at a time. And I have one more of my logo stickers and then one more of my QR um, code stickers. sorry for this glorious angle, but I refuse to crochet out of my bed, so here we are. It is. My watch is dead o'clock. It is 8.28. I'm planning on making my cows and my possums and hopefully another of my garden fairies, and then we'll see what happens after that. March 2nd day of my market. I got up extra extra early this morning so I could work on some more items. I finished one cow and two possums last night um, because I decided since I have the other type of cow I'm just gonna put both of those out because I really didn't feel like making another one like in a row. Um, and then this morning I packed everything up in my car I have all my yarn and stuff right here so that I can work on stuff before I leave. I was done getting ready and packing my car by 6. It's currently 6.15. Um, and when I was packing up my yarn, I realized I didn't 
finish a bunny that I'm putting in my claw machine. So that's what I'm making right now. Um, I also forgot that I didn't finish making the mini octos that I was going to put in my claw machine. So I'm going to work on those um, first thing when we get there. Um, try to see if maybe I can finish one before I leave here. Tattoo feels weird. Um, but I'm going to go pick up breakfast and some coffee before I leave because... I don't want anything that we have here. So that's what's going on. For approximately almost eight hours. Um, I'm probably leaving with more stuff than I came with because I've crocheted uh, a couple things since I've been here and the turnout was not great. There was supposed to be like 40 vendors, there's less than 15 probably, and we we'll probably had that many come in that many people come to our booth even. We're kind of at the end by the food truck. And we were facing the eating area thinking that if people were sitting there eating that they would look in here. And I don't know if that was the wrong call to make. Um, I have made about $85. Mom sold one of her cups. And that's about it. It's kind of dead. Nobody's really doing great today, so. At least for the next one, we won't have to make a whole bunch of stuff. We'll kind of be stocked up and ready to go. So we're just waiting another like 30 minutes or so before we start packing up. And then we're leaving. Not the best market day. So quick conclusion to my market, I made $99. I technically should have made $109, but someone's payment didn't go through and they walked away too fast for me to tell them that. Um, so I made rent, technically. Um, my mom sold two cups, one to her friend and one to me. This is the one I got. And it came with a metal straw with the silicone thing on it. Um, I'm going to link her socials down in the description box so you can check her out. She takes custom orders. Um, I sold like 10, 12 items probably. My entire um, container bin full of stuff is still full, but I really can't complain. It was okay. I got to sit in nice weather all day and crochet, so I really can't be mad. But yeah, thank you for making it through this video. If you did, if you did manage to do that, leave me a comment of a yarn ball. Um, I really have no idea what is in this video because I've been filming it for the last month, so I'm going to work on 
being better about filming, kind of planning stuff ahead of time, or just being aware that I'm still filming a vlog and I need to finish it. So uh, yeah, thank you again so much. Make sure you like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye guys.